On October the 31st, 1969, Air Force One landed at Perth Airport. On board was Apollo 11 astronauts, Michael Collins, Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong. And they were here as part of the Apollo 11 Goodwill Tour. This was an extraordinary event. People lined up along the streets from Perth Airport, Great Eastern Highway, the Causeway, all the way to the Esplanade. Everything was closed from 12 o'clock onwards, so public servants had given the rest of the day off, schools were closed, banks were closed, everybody had the opportunity to see their heroes driving by. There were children and families lining the streets, and as they were going by, you would see children up trees holding banners of welcome for the astronauts. There was security, there were police there, but the crowd was so big that the police basically gave up and went with the crowd. There was just so many people, and they were excited, they were happy. I've uh, been here a few times before, up there. At... <laughs> Never this close, and it's a genuine pleasure for me. As soon as Michael Collins stood up, there was almost simultaneous roar of happy birthday for him because it happened to be his birthday when he arrived. Thank you. After the speeches, there was a ticker tape parade through the city, and every single way that they could throw out streamers, they would find whatever they could throw out, including dunny paper. <laughs> I mean, there was people from all walks of life. At that time, Perth had a population of under 500,000 people. So for 70,000 people to turn up, that was a big deal. During the Goodwill tour, everyone around the world said, we humanity had gone to the moon. No one said the US had done it. Perth and the people of Western Australia were part of that because we had a tracking station in Carnarvon. We were a real link to the moon men. We helped them and we supported them. It was our expertise, our personnel, working with astronauts that helped to support this mission.